football game. Okay, cool. So for the recording today is March, excuse me, <laughs> March, April the 3rd, Wednesday, 2024. And today what we're looking at is dollar index, euro, US, um, indices, futures, right? They're all pretty much the same to me. Um, but really quick, just looking at dollar, I just want to bring this over. Um, let me actually do this, continue with the audio. Um, pull this over here. So basically what I want to show is going to be the higher time frames first here. So when it comes to dollar index and euro, the one main thing that I've already noticed about this week um, on the daily is that daily divergence. So as you can see here, we have the push up into the 105 key level making a higher high. But at the same time, you don't have a lower low being created on Euro USD. So this really uh, you know, strong level off one point. 0750 and then inside this last down candle is all very perfect so if they can continue to rally this price um when you're looking at intraday what i'd be looking at is like this four hour and if price can you know push back into that monthly open or push back above 1.8 we may make our way back up into the 1.85 zeros if we start to retrace some here on dollar index now when it comes to um you know so basically what it, what happens is here is that we do see more bearishness out of the dollar going forward um, going into this month, then you would want to long anything XXX USD. That's kind of our game plan. Now, when it comes to futures, right, we like to play, you know, A to B positions. So today, really quick, you know, yesterday, this is CFD, NAS 100. We actually played buy positions. We ended up taking profits in the 18150s, and it's very similar on NQ if you took that same trade. Um, the price was uh, very similar at the same time yesterday. Price had fell off a cliff there in New York, finally set a low, um, pushed up, showed our signal, 1045 came back down, entry, price rallies, same thing, managed the trade. All right. So now um, when it comes down to thinking about a day trade, you know, obviously we can't hold these trades on top step because they get liquidated. Um, so the CFD positions, we kind of have an idea of like, okay, maybe they just want to take those previous day lows of all the traders and then possibly present the signal under this uh, under this liquidity here. So individuals that are still sitting here potentially somehow, um, you know, what we're essentially thinking is like if they have their liquidity like this, right, let's just say like that in a situation, what they'll do is price will run up, come down, hit that liquidity. And then I like to look for that signal under, right? It needs to be under that liquidity, under that previous support level, let's just call it, right? I like to look for that signal to then attack because then if I can get this here, put my risk here and be up at least like on like a one to two, one to three, and it's pushing up on the first top, that's even better. So that's kind of the idea I have today. Now, if they do um, come out and hold the levels, right? They end up coming in here and holding. Um, I'll look for a transition on 15 and five price playing off the open off the 50%. So I'd look for something like, you know, this to rally, come down, hit, and then start attacking up to fill inefficiency. So, that's kind of what I'm seeing. I don't want to overlook it or overthink it, but I'll move this over to the snipe window. Now, I've started a new docu series called Into the Futures, um, which I you know plan to be posting. I had some you know we're getting ready to move, so we had some kind of difficulties with people coming in re uh, rebuilding some stuff here at, the, at our house. Um, but I'm going to call this this docu series Into the Futures, but also be mixed in with a little bit a little bit of CFD because I still have people that work with me that trade CFD. I still have access to accounts with CFD, um, and there's no difference in price action to me. So, um, you know, if you're seeing this, um, you know, welcome to Into the Futures. Right, a lot of people are transitioning away from CFD into futures markets. So, let's get it. We got about two minutes. We already have our ideas. And now what we're going to do is focus on um, this futures account um, as well. So I also have my CFD, everything ready from yesterday. We actually have a position that we're still holding a small amount on. So, um, you know, kind of wanted to just see how this uh, reaction is going to be um, at the New York Open. Okay. And so I marked all that CFD, which it looks like I missed here, which is crazy. Okay. So that's. Or Wednesday daily open. I'm gonna need to mark one. Excuse me. Price is projecting away from London open as well. So 
as we come into the time, I'm going to be a little bit more um, locked in here and trying to see what we get so I don't take any uh, unnecessary trades. So trade safe, guys. Let's have a good day. I like the price here. Um, when it comes to the futures, I ended up taking a CFD position. Um, but I am looking at this. Now, if I can get this 15 and 5 to do what I think it can do in this first few minutes, then, um, you know, we'll see what we can do. I will say that they definitely are lagging like crazy, though, um, on that CFD. So, gotta be careful. Okay, so that looks good. Um, so okay, so the price looks good here. Um, like I said, when you're looking at like a uh, like a one minute, five minute, um, to me. You know, looking at this price, that New York Open is going to be the key. So let's continue to watch that. But I think that it it looks pretty good to continue. Okay, so watching that New York Open, watching New York Open here on CFD as well. So we'll see what we get, but I'm watching this play, wanting to see if we can take this price up uh, above the daily highs, 18,200 CFD, 18,400, um, 18,400 on MQ here. So we'll take a, like I said, I've already taken it on CFD, so I don't want to like force my way into this one, but I would like, like I said, this area that we have, um, would be really nice. So, CFD just ran the eighteen zero nineties, um, and they're lagging just slightly on the broker. So, but it is popping up. And so, you know, my target on this trade, um, you know, I still have a little left on it. That's why I'm like, why I'm like just adding into the CFD to see if I can just add on up to eighteen three hundreds, um, so. Just wanted to see if this can continue in its route. Okay, so 
So day three of 100, looking pretty good. So I do want to just put this here for the recording side. Uh, they gave me basically right here, 60. And so we can kind of see this is where the plotted position is currently. Um, if it's going to let me see now, dollar is finding that weakness and euro is uh, really gaining strength. So I do want to do this really quick. All right, is this is where I bought was New York Open. And so I have my position from here. I stopped at the low, and then I have my position here, and I'm just looking to attack on up. Okay. So that's what I'm watching when it comes to CFD. We need to see 18150 uh, if this would work out. But overall, you know, when you look at the move, it looks pretty good uh, if it can maintain. Um, so I'm watching that on different screens. So I do want to continue to watch NQ's actual price and see how it plays until we kind of push back possibly into this New York Open. So really good price here. Okay, so we're still fighting that range, but we're waiting, right? But I do think we can make our way up to like 18 twos and higher when it comes to uh, NAS, but we'll see. We do want to continue to watch the CFD or um, futures price here. Um, me personally, like I said, I took a buy position at the New York Open, um, but not on the futures here. And like I said, Euro USD flying. So it looks like we're more than likely for the day um, on those assets going to get that really nice uh, bullish push that we kind of anticipated, right? So that daily swept took that liquidity and now we have that higher low that's formed in a really good area to, and it's holding really well. So CFD positions look good. And uh, yeah. The price is still pushing really good in our over here. Um, so that CFD position that we're you know we're really watching the most right now. Um, and that's the position that we have. So from yesterday, basically almost the same price as yesterday, except yesterday's stop is at the low. 
And now we got a new active position that we int intend to take up to the high of the days. So everything looks pretty good, like I said, on that uh, to continue the rally. And all these things are going up while dollars starting to fail. So if we can break past this 18100 level, that would be a little helpful here on the CFD price. So yeah, when it comes to CFD here, I want to see the push through 18100 and candles close uh, above that area. Otherwise, you know, they could easily run that back to the downside. So, um, you know, that's where my focus would be is watching that price there. And like I said, that's, that futures price is beautiful coming down playing that tap. So it's got to be patience though. So NQ price looks really good. Um, I would. So if we can just hold up through here. That would be great. Um. Because uh, I could definitely see us potentially pushing up here. So. So that push away from 18100, you know, you don't want to see that, um, especially with that five minute close. Um, but like right now, what we could just be anticipating is that news is going to come in and just fill the inefficiency there and then possibly rise. That's what I would anticipate. Um, otherwise, we'll go lower and, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, but that's kind of what I'm anticipating from, from going forward. So just kind of here, um, you know, monitoring this position, uh, seeing where this 15 is going to close, seeing where that five minutes is going to close, and basically just wanting to see that 15-minute close higher 
inside this area of the range because then I think we could definitely find our way up pretty quickly to 18200 um which would be pretty fire so just depends on what we get here Now, sometimes I'll buy this imbalance off that 15 minute bound candles open like this right here. So like there's the open of the candle and then it's tapping that imbalance. Um, and I'd put my risk in the, in the first order, just basically entry, right? So that could be like my risk for a higher type trade, a stack type trade. But for me, I'm just gonna let this ride off into the sunset today because I just wanna see how it plays out uh, at this news release, see if this news comes in and brings in that volatility that I'm looking for. Because I do think if these can run, they can really rip, um, especially when it comes to like, you know, when you're looking at NQ, um, you know, you're looking at like 18.5 and higher. Um, and then with NAS 100, same thing, but just different uh, price, 18.3, 18.400 and higher. So if those can play out, those would be really, really good setups. Um, so we'll see how it plays. I do want to check the NQ price here just really quick because I do want to know the low on this market. The low is 18,232. See what that stop loss would be 232. 232. Take profits are in the fives. All right. So. I do like this. So from here to here, and then if our CFD positions can really work out, this would be a pretty good spot. So I do want to condense that risk down to as tight as I can on that stop loss low. And then what I'm anticipating on this uh, position is to see price go take this high out technically. Um, and I could sell that position back to the market possibly. But my CFD position, um, we'll keep watching because I do have a great spot on that position. And uh, I could definitely see us possibly getting up to 18 twos, which would be really nice. Okay, and then looking at all three across the board here, um, you're looking at futures across the board. Um, let me look at this. Those look really good on the one hour. It uh, looks like NQ to me is the lagger. Dow's and ES are leading. Um, so I really do like the price, like I said. Okay, and then the... The price on um the price on CFD looks solid on on the other two. And when I look at Dow, I can see 39.2 up to 39.5 for sure. That could be really nice. So this really depends on how they if they if they respect this area here, this 15 five minute area. And if we get a close, I would say between now and 9 a.m., 9 15, that starts attacking those higher levels and there's a better chance. So you look at the bag at seven here, or like the bag for um, that angle, it's like inside up around five or four into five, considerably off that high, and you saw it down a little bit. Then you have just the very big trial that you're paying for folks, as well as Apple. I mean, Apple's case is just having a huge all night, and not even so far in the bank. Yeah. 
also has a pretty slab, I guess. So, that guidance on the back, I guess, was what I have here for here. Let's see what I have for you. Let's see what I have for Intel, too. Intel, this is some heavy losses. So we can keep getting this volatility to push through. Um, I could definitely see us like at least sweeping the London highs. Um, if not the London highs, then or if the London highs, then I would definitely like the daily highs as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So they, yeah, they all are kind of in a certain area where, you know, you know, when I look at all three across the board, I'd like to see some momentum, some more bullish candles on those one hours. So still watching this area, this this fifteen minute area. Um, you know, I want to see how this candle is going to close. I want to see these five minute closes as well. Um, but no, no real weakness it doesn't seem like to me when you look at them across the board on the one hour. Really good price. Looks really good on the one hour pricing, uh, especially for the CFD. I just want to show that really quick for the recording. Um, it looks really good. So the 15 minute reaction, this positioning from yesterday looks really good still. And so if we can get that to push up, that would be uh, amazing. Now, like I said, the, the um, the future position isn't as great, but the risk is perfect. Um, the placement I like and uh, the take profit makes sense to me. So, um, you know, still a good trade. Could have been better, right, at that New York Open, but I also like this, um, you know, break type play. So we can close really strong in the 15s here, closer to above London Open or higher, then I would have a lot better um, confidence inside the trade. Shot. Yeah, shot. 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 
what other shops have got out there. There's a lot of them. Chop shop, chop ball, chop shop, chop shop, butcher shop, butcher shop. Studies are holding studies and buys and get them on on and on. But right now, I just really like the price, um, how they're printing. Let um, me take a look at dollar euro really quick. That dollar is still pretty weak. So I just, I just don't see why they wouldn't go up and take, um, you know, at least tap 18300 or tap right above 18320. But you know, they're going to do what they're going to want to do. Really good price, so. So price is looking really good. Those one hours look really solid. If we can get above London open, um, there's a good chance. Um, Make sure we watch the calendar, like he's saying. So we have that news here at nine. So I like how this price still looks. Um, if they can continue, we'll see. Uh, as we go into the close here, but these fifteen minutes close with you know white candles with bullish candles, then um, I have a good feeling that we're good. Um, and they're getting people. I would think that they're getting people to short, which would be you know. Be impatient here. So, but if they can't break eighteen one, that is going to be difficult. They could sell off first, um, before they actually go. So I'm going to be really watching that this inefficiency here that you kind of see right there on that five minute where that down candle is, 18,250 and lower. It may slip into there. Um, and maybe I add another contract <clears throat> if it slips into that area. All right. So I could add another contract right here and then set a limit basically for 18,250. Um, but my positioning wasn't as great as I would like. So I'm just going to be patient here. Mm -hmm. And looking at all three, you're looking at especially like CFD, uh, the lagger I would think is MQ. The, the leader would be between um, like Dow and ES. They're still showing pretty bullish price action. So we'll see. You know, these are just slight pullbacks to add in more orders or not. Take a chart, 
So let's see how this 15 and 5 close, like I said. Because right now they are stacking, but they could fill those inefficiencies uh, below, which that's where our order is. So like today, if I can factor in lower, right, 18,250 or lower, then I'll probably add one contract um, in that area. That would be the area I'd want to add. So I'm watching the CFD price to see if it's going to slip. Um, but the 9 a.m. price will be key here. So if they kind of push it, you know, and hit that area, then, you know, so be it. We'll see. It may, may just drain off. Who knows? You got to be careful to protect yourself, um, you know, because this news is a red folder. And then just to have a contract ready. 232. Take profits and uh, yeah. So if it was a slip down, possibly, but into that two fifty and below, I'd I'd probably want to take something. Oh, nice. So prices rallied like crazy. Wow, awesome. That's awesome to see. Hopefully, it continues like this. Um, but that looks really good for our price. So cool. Nice, nice, nice. Price is running. Let's go. So I like the buy positions a lot. It looks really good, as you guys can see now, um, as we're rallying up. So um, it looks good. You know, and like I said, the CFD position looks really good as well. Let's go. Really, really good trade. This is a really good day to um see. Didn't have the back best order, which is actually a pretty good order here. Um, so for my NQ position, um, if we can close above the high of the day, then um, I will most likely close some of that position down. And then when it comes to my uh, my uh... got to take out yesterday's high. Uh, what could the overnight look like here? God, that's it. That's what sweet rally baby so right here um you know the sell stop probably will drag it um into here as we close higher here um if we find any kind of rejection from that daily open as well i don't want to even deal with it um so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and secure um you know Pretty much this trade for the day, because I'm looking for about 2000 to $1,500. Um, 
or I could trail the risk up to 18.3. So let's see how this five minute closes. So good price here. Um, looks really good. Going to continue to watch that price here as we're expanding up. But we have a really amazing day. Um, we have another amazing day here when it comes to this. So uh, could, like I said, move this sell stop up to secure some more of the bag. Um, you know, for today, like I said, I'm looking to hit uh, close to 2000. That would be great if I can just continue. This can break out and we'll see how it plays. That's what I'm really trying to see. But CFD price looks really good. Um, if you're holding those, um, Wow, banger. Let's go. All right, I'm glad I wasn't holding in shorts. <laughs> banger. Let's go. So that's the goal that we're at today. Um, so the recording side is going really well. Everything's doing really good. The price is really doing really good. One hour price looks really good. So this price is gonna rally, y'all. I mean it's really rolling here. Um Price is still rallying, no sign of weakness here in the five minute, right? So um, we've continued to push up. Okay, so, you know, I don't want to play against this. Now, for this setup here, what I want to do is, you know, I want to watch how this 15 five minute closes. You know, right now we're getting higher open, higher closes. Um, so there's not really too much to look at but for cfd purposes is looking really good so i'm excited about that it's taking a step forward Okay, so all we have is a sell stop. So I could secure the bag here. I could secure up to 321s uh, from 61. So 71, 81, 
91, 01, 11, 21. So I could secure 60 points, about $1,200, which isn't bad. So I'll probably go ahead and do that here. You guys can see where I'm kind of putting it. Um, now, I do sometimes like to put it like right here. Um, so let's do that. Just in case it does start to. So I like this price for today. I've moved my sell stop to here. So if they come and tap it, it's so be it. I don't have to manage the trade or worry about it. And then when it comes to this position, this is just going to be fire for today. Um, so it's got to be watching my CFD position just as well. Um, after we have swipes as high as the day. So so watching this five minute really tough. I want to see if they're going to come just tap my sell stop. Um, and then I'd be out for today. All right. So if they, if they tap me out and then continue to go, so be it. Okay, so watching my CFD position very tightly here um, because this position definitely uh, has the opportunity to roll. So I'm going to trail my risk on the CFD position as well. Okay, so I moved my risk on CFD in the, in the profit just to kind of lock in a little bit more here and not take myself out of a big profit because that was a really, really nice push. The price looks good here still um, to continue to hold. So that's why I really just want to like be patient on my CFD position because I think that that position can continue to rally if we get good closures. Above daily open. Secure. <laughs> so CFD still looking to see if we're going to push. It does look pretty good here. Um, 173s. Uh, so yeah, that does look really, really aggressive. Um, so let's see what we get. So we'll continue to manage this trade. This is what we have on the board for now for the recording side. I do want to end the recording side. We did play an amazing position today for Into the Futures. Um, we'll continue to see and update how this goes.
Um, if you're not in the free Telegram chat, definitely check out the free Telegram chat. And, uh, you know, like I said, this will be uh, the official first day of day um, into the futures just because we did end up taking a futures trade. We obviously took a CFD trade, but we did take a futures trade. So it's just a documentation versus a creation type thing um, to kind of give, uh, you know, the real ins and outs of, you know, this transition in the futures. And uh, this is a combine account. So this isn't in my actual account. Um, so I will be kind of going through, you know, the ups and the downs of that. And then my transition, obviously, into the exit phase. And then my transition possibly into what they have as a live account. Um, so, yeah, you know, this will be the next 100 days um, of that. So I appreciate you guys watching the recording side. And, uh, you know, like I said, join the Telegram for the updates on how this trade ended up playing out.